The AAV vector is curing genetic diseases in different organs. How do scientists target the vector? How is a vector prepared? Well, the vectors are actually fairly easy to prepare. Um, however, scaling it up to make large quantities can be uh, uh, somewhat tedious and rather expensive. But we prepare these vectors right in our laboratory using petri dishes. Uh, they're grown in human cells, so we have all human proteins that become part of it. But we just take uh, different genes that are part of the system that we uh, put together, some of the uh, adeno-associated viral-based genes, and then our synthetic dystrophin gene, and we transfect them right into human cells in petri dishes and the virus then uh, self-assembles. And we then break the cells open and can purify it using conventional methods with uh, different columns and, and uh, biochemical purification methods to end up with a pure uh, solution of the uh, viral delivery shuttle. Defective genes are known to cause serious and fatal diseases in every organ system. Cystic fibrosis, motor neuron disease, muscular dystrophy, metabolic and bleeding disorders, immune deficiencies, and many more. More than 100 serotypes of the AAV can shuttle normal genes to all these locations to replace the inactive gene products. You could use this very same adeno-associated virus vector mm -hmm. for these other diseases. Do I understand that correctly? Yes. Um, there, in, as, as I mentioned, there, there are actually a variety of different types of these adeno-associated viruses. They're, they're known as serotypes. Uh, just like with the common cold, there may be 50 different versions of the common cold that can make you feel ill. There are uh, more than 100 different types of adeno-associated viruses. They're very similar in structure, but their, their surface capsid is slightly different. And, and what that uh, means in practicality is that different subtypes of the adeno-associated viruses are able to get into different organs uh, better or worse. And so we're working with a particular subtype that is very good at getting into muscles, but there are other types that are much better at getting into the liver, uh, and there are other types, as I mentioned, that are very good at getting into neurons. So part of the uh, basic testing that's done in the laboratory as you're moving to try to target a new disease is to go through the different types of these uh, viral vectors and choose the one that's best for your particular target cell type. Although proof of the effectiveness of AAV gene therapy has only been demonstrated in muscular dystrophy and in a few rare conditions such as hemophilia and canavan disease, the unique properties of the vector offer great promise to many patients with previously untreatable disorders.